Hello everyone, I'm Gareth from Aslan we're here again today and welcome to another Valve Hammer tutorial. This time around I'm going to demonstrate how you can create Portal Still Alive's and Portal 2's Hardlight Bridge in Portal 1. So let's get started with what we need. We're going to start with a prop static in this case, though if you want to have it movable then you might want to set this to a prop dynamic instead. And we're going to find the emancipation field which is what's used in portal so I believe it's the uh, portal cleanser that we have to look for which is this model right here and in this case we're just gonna rotate it 90 degrees into Z and then we're gonna duplicate it and put it over to the other side so I do have to decrease the grid size a little bit to get it into position so there is good enough and then what you can do is just click shift or hold shift drag and that duplicates it with the exact same properties so there we go we got our emancipation field base set up and all we need to do simply in the case where we are not gonna enable it or disable it is just uh, get the invisible texture the tools tools invisible texture and put it about the midway between the uh, emancipation field models here so I would advise you have it longer in a particular dimension so it's not gonna have like one thickness um, but in this case it's longer than it is tall so in this case um, this is going to do everything that we want it to in terms of blocking the player and blocking physics objects uh, but allow portals to go through it and what we're going to do as well is also create a basic no draw block as well I'm actually going to uh, put it on the other side of this and as you see it's got the same dimensions so if we make that zero thickness as well or one thickness so uh, and then a the good thing is if we don't tie anything to entities right away we can actually disable the invisible texture so it allows us to texture this, this no draw with the effects block field texture which is straight from the portal still alive game files which I'll leave a link in the description below and probably the comments as well to the mod on PC of portal still alive so you can grab this texture if you want to but this is what's used in portal still alive you can also grab the hard light bridge texture from portal 2 if you really want to and as you saw there I changed it to 0.5 because yeah that stretches to fit the field properly and then if we go to the other side you can hold alt and right click and it applies it to the back face as well so then we can turn the invisible well you can turn the invisible texture back on uh, but there's one last thing we need to do which is to take this texture that we just had we just made and we just turn it into a funk brush that is never solid and uh, I think that's all we need to do there now of course if you're going to go down the route of uh, enabling and disabling stuff then you can always turn this invisible texture into a funk brush as well just a regular funk brush um, and of course you'll have to name it as well if you're going to turn it on and turn it off and all that as well um, but for all intents and purposes the actual effect we're just going to call it HLB for the time being for hard light bridge and what I'm going to create now is an ambient generic which is just a sound file that plays I'm going to put it about the middle midway point of the emancipation field and uh, I'm going to decrease the size of it down a bit right off the bat but we can actually change the distance in the uh, in the files here so you can say 256 units for instance is its audible distance uh, the source entity name where this sound plays from we can set it to play from the hard light bridge entity we just made and you can actually just go to the sound that we need which is combine shield touch loop I'll preview this right now for you that is the sound that plays for the hard light bridge um, we want to untick is not loops I believe so that loops the file and if it's one that starts disabled then you want to start silent but in our case we want it to play all the time so that way it just plays on startup 
And again, if you're going to go down the route of enabling and disabling, then you can give this a name. Now, if I was to save and test this right now, then one thing that you should notice is that the turret will notice you for the hard light bridge. And this is what is intended in Portal Still Alive. The turrets can actually fire through the hard light bridge and attack you. So if this is what you want, then you can just stop this right here. Advanced stuff can be to uh, have enabled, um, have inputs and outputs, sorry, to make it so you can turn it on and off at will, whether it's a switch or button or, or whatever. Um, all you have to do is just uh, tie names and then like disable the brushes and uh, stop the sound. And then when you're done with what you want, when the button's unpressed or the switch is over with, then you just set it to re-enable. But uh, if you're looking to go down the route of Portal 2, then there's one more thing that we're going to need to do, which is to add a block LOS brush. Uh, and this essentially is a block line of sight brush, which means that the turrets cannot see you through the hard light bridge. So again, just create a brush with the dimensions that you want. Again, you can set it to one thickness and just create the block LOS. Uh, just brush here and again I think you can tie this to a funk brush and it still does what it's supposed to so in my case however it is just a static unmoving you can't turn it off hard light bridge so it does the job that it's supposed to that is it block makes it so the turrets don't see you through the hard light bridge um, however, the lasers do still go through, so I believe what you would have to do in that case is actually have like a solid brush somewhere to stop the lasers from going through, but then that kind of gets rid of some of the functionality of the hard light bridge, so I would advise not doing that. But um, in essence, this is how you would create a portal still alive forward slash portal 2 hard light bridge in portal 1. So I hope you found this helpful and um, I've got more tutorials like this in my mind right now. So hopefully you will come back for more when I do them. So uh, have a great day. Thank you for watching and see you next time.